Hi, I'm Stephen with AlbertaUrbanGarden.ca. While I'm waiting for the sun to return sufficiently to my garden outdoors so that I can plant my cold hardy crops underneath protection, indoors I'm growing salad greens and herbs to pass away the winter months. On this installment of the Urban Gardening series, I'm going to go through how I grow my salad greens and herbs indoors. The best part of all, you can do this literally anywhere. Growing your own produce indoors can certainly help offset the rising price of produce that is being felt all across Canada. Growing salad greens or herbs is often referred to as a kitchen garden, and growing them indoors does not have to cost you a lot of time nor money. Going to the grocery store in search of these fresh products may leave you with a little bit of a dent in your wallet, as they can be quite expensive in the winter here in Canada. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you a dish that I love to make using the fresh herbs and leafy greens that I've grown indoors. The first thing you'll need is access to a light source. A south or southwest facing window is ultimately the cheapest as you have access to free light. If you don't, fluorescent lights are a great cheap option that can get you going. My growing area takes advantage of a south facing window on the top and fluorescent grow lights on the bottom. I prefer to grow most of my plants on the top shelf, taking advantage of the free light that's coming through it to help keep my overall running costs lower. At the end of this video and in the description below, I'll put links to videos explaining what grow lights are, how to purchase them, and how I built this system behind me. Let's move on to starting your salad greens and herbs indoors. I started my salad greens and herbs in December before the sun started to return following the winter solstice. As the sun was too low in the sky, I had to start with the grow lights, moving the plants up in later January as the sun had started to return. I simply took a small pinch of seeds I wanted to grow and tried to spread them across the surface of the soil. Once I had done that, I used the soil from the edges to cover the seeds in a thin layer and watered them in. This is the only time that I water the plants from the top. Make sure to be gentle and add just enough water to wet the seeds. In the future, I will water my plants from the bottom using the trays allowing the plants to wake up what they need as they need it. I will touch on why bottom watering is a good idea in a future episode. Indoors you will not need to water your plants nearly as frequently as if they were outdoors. I usually wait until the pot feels light in my hands when I pick it up and then I add 2 to 3 centimeters of water or 1 inch of water to the tray below it allowing the plants to wick it up as need be. When the plants start to grow, I find I'll need to do this every two or three days. I started my indoor garden by planting sorrel, mosh, and claytonia for my salad greens, and thyme, basil, dill, mint, and rosemary to fill out my kitchen herbs. Herbs and cold hardy salad greens are especially easy to grow indoors as they are well adapted to growing in lower light conditions. The potting mix that I have selected to use for my indoor growing is very important. I make mine from one part coconut core or soilless potting mix and one part compost. The potting mix holds the moisture but allows for easy drainage while the compost provides more than enough nutrients to allow me not to need to fertilize with store-bought products. You can thin your seedlings out using them as microgreens on your salads and most of these plants as they grow you can cut and come again and harvest them frequently. If they stay healthy I will continue to harvest them right until the spring when my garden takes over. Once I transferred my salad greens and herbs to the top shelf they really took off, allowing me to harvest for some of my favorite dishes and garnish my salads. The best part about the salads that I have harvested is that the greens have enough flavor that I don't actually need to use a dressing and my meals are much healthier. Today I thought I would share with you one of my favorite ways to use the basil that I've grown. Nothing brings back better memories of my garden than a fresh tomato basil salad. It is very simple to make. Take some tomatoes and cut them into bite-sized chunks. I really like doing this with my cherry tomatoes. Slice the basil into strips, and if you would like to add some cheese, chop up some bocconcini cheese. Toss the tomatoes, basil, and cheese together with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. I then usually garnish with any of the other leafy greens that I have available. It's time to enjoy. Growing salad greens and herbs indoors not only allows you to grow pretty well anywhere, but a lot of these are cut and come again, which allow you to harvest all year long and enjoy fresh produce that you've grown yourself.